I was just remembering an older poem by Thomas Hood called No. I'm going to read a poem called No, but it's very different from that one. Thomas Hood says no to November. This one is by writer A.M. Juster. It's from his new book, Wonder and Wrath. He's a translator, poet, critic. I have quite a few of his books and like him, and he has a wide range. Uh, Dana Joya says in his comments on the cover, Wonder and Wrath represents the culmination and integration of A.M. Jester's diverse and remarkable career. In nine previous volumes of poetry and verse translation, Jester displayed mastery of so many modes and manners that it was sometimes difficult to bring his artistic personality into focus. In Wonder and Wrath, the variety remains, but the superb new poems are compellingly unified. Jester's late style is capacious, Nothing human is alien to him. He is simultaneously tender and savage, witty and sad, vulgar and learned. In this go-for-broke volume, Jester also writes in over two dozen forms, from sonnet to pantoum, haiku to heroic couplet, all splendidly handled, page after page, the poems strike home. This no is not an amusing no. Uh, Sally Thomas, one of the other poets we've read, says if the mind behind wonder and wrath is laughing, often enough it laughs to keep from breaking something. This is a poem in which there is no laughter. It's different in its many short phrases to um, very bold and sharp just like the title, No. He refers to Sylvia Plath, the Plath we know from Ariel or the Bell Jar, the Plath who says dying is an art like everything else. He says no to her. It also has a message for writers in it, a very direct message. When you compose a line, it is a message, not just art. No. No, not this time. I cannot celebrate a man's discarded life and will not try. These knee-jerk elegies perpetuate Plath's nightshade lies. Why should we glorify descent into a solipsistic hell? Stop. Softly curse the waste. Don't elevate his suffering to genius. Never tell me he will live on. Never call it fate. Attend the service. Mourn. Pray. Comfort those he lacerated. Keep him in your heart. But use that grief to teach. When you compose a line, it is a message, not just art. Be furious with me, but I refuse to praise him. No, we have too much to lose. And that's from Wonder and Wrath by A.M. Jester from Paul Dry Books of Philadelphia.